Hi, David at Frogsy Adventures. Today I'm in Stockport and this is, what's your name? Pauline. Pauline, this is Pauline, I've just met. Um, I was about to take, I took a photograph of Jody, uh, my partner. Uh, I was on one knee because I wanted to get, I wanted to get this in behind us, like you see all that. Because we're in a Masonic hall, aren't we? We are, yes, we are. Um, and Pauline, you, you, uh, you, you've been here, let me quick, quickly look around. You've been doing all the teas and Serving coffees. Serving food, and, yeah, for everybody, yeah. all so the teas and coffees. You work, do you work here full time or part time? No, no, just part time when we have little events on, yeah. Little, little events, this is a yeah. good event, isn't it? So, it it's a is, health, yeah. It's a health and wellbeing event, and obviously, we're, you know, I'm here to give a little promotion for, um, you know, we, we know the organisers, they're all, they're all lovely. Um, on Saturday, 4th of November, we've got a health and wellbeing uh, oh, right. festival at the Victoria Hall in Keithley. Have you, have you been to Keithley? I've before? never even heard of the place. Haven't you? <laughs> no. Well, it's a nice, I don't know how to describe it. I'll have to really. venture out of It's a nice little <laughs> industrial town, but uh, and it's got a railway, it's got a steam railway. Okay. It goes to, have you heard of Howarth? No. All right, okay. Don't get out of Stockport much, do I? Oh, well, that's okay. Well, let's, let's bring it back to Stockport. So, we're in the Masonic Hall. All right. <laughs> Tell me, tell me a little bit about the Sonic Hall then. The Sonic Hall? Yeah, that's where we are. Aren't yes, we? we are. We do quite a lot of events here. We have people getting you know, married here, yeah. doing weddings. We have the Masons, Freemasons. Okay, tell me about the Freemasons. I've got to think about that. There's not really much I can tell you about them because they're quite private. Yeah, so, I know. You I know, know, I don't really know much about them. Well, you know, I, I do guided walks over Howarthmore and okay. Bramwell is the brother of Emily, um, Charlotte and, and Anne. So you know more than me. He was a Mason. And it's all a little bit secretive and a little ah, bit, you know. Indeed. You know more than me. All right, okay. All right. You, you, like, you serve all the teas and cakes and, and all that. I and, do. I just and, do my food. <laughs> but the reason, the reason, the reason I spoke to you is, is you've got a big smile and Thank you're you. interesting. Tell us, tell us what else you do. What do you do in your spare time? Well, I've got. Uh, I've just become a, a, a nana again yesterday. Oh, really? That's number ten. Oh my word! Number ten. So yeah, I'm quite always with all my grandkids. Oh, all all right, so they keep you busy then. <laughs> okay, let's let's bring it back to Stockport. What's what's uh, what's Stockport famous for? <laughs> What stop? Well, yeah. back in the day when I was younger, it was it was um, for going out drinking. We used oh, really? to have lots of pubs and clubs, but, but they're all closed down now. Oh, so right. Stockport used to be the place to go. Okay, all for right. A good time so, uh, why should people come to Stockport? There's a lot more here now. Because I just drove through. I've never, I actually only, only ever drive through. Um, you drive through? Yeah, because like my partner lives in Manchester, and I go I pop along but to Buxton. You know, in the precinct, we have like um, you know food. Places on yeah. where you can go into there. All oh, these yeah. lots of events on it. Actually, down in Stockport. So Precinct what is Center. if you if you uh, like? So I do have um, some followers, and, and they are sort of across the world. There's, there's Malgosia, who's in Poland. She's the only one that ever liked my stuff, anyway. Um, oh, and uh, say hello to her. She's lovely. Hi. Hi. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> and um, uh, I forgot what I was going to say now. If there was if there, if you if there was one thing there was one thing you had to say about Stockport, like positive. Yeah. Because yeah, we're, we're here to raise the frequency, aren't we? You know. Um, what else would we? What, what can you say about Stockport to bring lots of people to Stockport? It's the place to be. It's the place to be. The, the people here were all amazing. They're friendly. Hang on, here we are. We've been filmed here. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> I'm not on the FBI or KGB this, or MI5 or anything. It's like me and my little YouTube channel. I don't. <laughs> All right, okay. I think we've done enough. You had enough? Yes. Paul, yeah? yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I've never been interviewed before, so I quite enjoyed that. All right. Ooh. Bring yourself down you to Stockport. You could be famous. Honestly, a <laughs> really good sell of Stockport. You should get a t shirt. What, what's it say? Yeah. Guildhall? Yeah. Is that the name of this building? It is, yeah. Okay. Get yourself to the Guild Hall and come and see Paul in. Nice cup of tea and some cake. All oh, the cakes gone. All oh, the cakes all gone. No, that's rubbish. Yeah. Right, I've dumped, I've dumped her already. Okay. All right, that's cheers. I'm David from Bronte <laughs> Adventures. There's Paulie, she's very enough. Bye.